This demo is on how to run Alamo using the first example that comes in the Alamo software package. I start with opening up the GUI. As you can see, the GUI opens up a window that is spreadsheet-like. I'll go to File, Import Example, one of those that come with Alamo. I'm going to import Example 1. As you can see, we have one input, which is variable x, one output, which is variable z, and 11 data points. I am now going to plot the data. This is what the data looks like, z versus x. I can also do a histogram if I want, so instead of plotting z, I will plot x. At this point, I have the option to do a histogram, and I can see how my measurements are distributed. For instance, I can see I don't have a lot of points there, there, and there, but let's assume I accept that the data is okay. Now I'm going to run Alamo. I have options. These options here tell me what functions I have allowed in the model. I have selected the information criterion, and I want the output to be in Excel format. I can choose a number of different formats. And as you can see, the GUI allows me to see what each option does, what your alternatives are, etc. Now I'll just run Alamo. Alamo runs very quickly, we're using a small example of course, and it has some information. For instance, this is the version you're running. It was generated and so on and so forth. It runs, it says. I'm going to discard perhaps some basis functions there. It's eliminating basis functions because it is out of bounds, so it's not numerically robust. Eventually, it goes through a number of iterations. It says this is the best model, and here are some measures about the quality of the model. And of course, this is all very quick because it's a tiny model. The same points of things you have here, these metrics, like the sum of squared errors and the Bayesian information criterion and so on and so forth. And the important measure here is that the worst case error is zero. You can see the parity plot here. It's a perfect fit. It's along the diagonal and all measurements and all the calculation values. You can also do a scatter plot, and you can see that your data and your predictions fit the measurements exactly. So that's an example of how to run Alamo on one of the example problems that come with Alamo. That was example one.